Hello again, everybody. In this last video clip regarding transaction capital's investment into We Buy Cars, I talk a little bit about the terms of the investment that we made and some of the rationale behind the thinking that transaction capital and We Buy Cars had in concluding this very exciting development. These are the investment criteria that transaction capital applied when considering the investment in We Buy Cars. When I take you through the next slide, you'll see that most of these criteria were met when applying them against the We Buy Cars opportunity. You've seen from, this, from the previous slides that We Buy Cars is a high quality standalone business with strong organic growth prospects. The rationale for investing in We Buy Cars includes the favorable structural market conditions relating to the used vehicle market segment and We Buy Cars significant position in SA's resilient used vehicle market. It's clear that We Buy Cars is a high quality, well established, entrepreneurial, owner managed business with robust organic growth prospects, delivering predictable earnings and high cash conversion rates, whose scale and competitiveness can be enhanced. I'm now going to hand over to Farn again to discuss some of the future growth strategies that they've developed for We Buy Cars. Yes, um, well, before TC, we were already on a very positive growth path. But with DC, we plan to en enhance and continue to grow and scale our business. We have continuously increased our volumes year on year, and our goal is to increase the current 6,000 to 10,000 within the next couple of years. We're also planning on expanding our infrastructure, reaching more cities and towns, and uh, also grow our e-commerce capabilities, especially in the B2C market. Optimizing unit economics and margin will do by increasing the 15% that gets currently sold through the value added products like finance and insurance, which we believe we can drive to 20% in the years to come. We'll also enhance our value added products offering by getting the expertise of taxi on board where they, where they have already really reinvented the wheel there and we can utilize the expertise in that regard. Thanks, Vaughan. This analysis on slide 19 illustrates that the investment in rebar cars is accretive to TC's track record of high earnings growth. If we assume that TC owned 49.9% of rebar cars during our 2018 and 2019 financial year, you can see from the slide that our earnings growth rate would have increased from 18% to 24%. TC has deployed its excess cash accretively, converting interest income on undeployed capital into operational earnings. This investment is yet another example of TC growing its earnings base by expanding its existing total addressable market and entering adjacent market segments. This is what transaction capital looked like before the investment in rebar cars. And on slide 21, you see what transaction capital looks like after the investment, with this investment facilitating the entry into our third adjacent market. This analysis shows the strength of TC's balance sheet post the investment in rebar cars. Assets have increased by about 1.5 billion, equity has increased by about a billion, and debt has increased only by about 600 million. In addition, a further 680 million of debt facilities are being raised post acquisition to ensure that TC can continue with its various organic growth opportunities. Thank you all for listening. Until I see you again, stay safe. Stay healthy and stay productive.